Commission regular meeting for October 8, 2013 at 701. The agenda for the opening is our prayer and pledge. Mr. LaVoy, can you read us? Please bow. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this beautiful day that you've given us. Father, we thank you for your many blessings. Father, we ask that you would guide these men and women as they undertake the city's business, that their decision would be in the best interest of the citizens. Father, we ask these things in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Item num number two on the agenda is the approval of the agenda. Does anyone have any changes? Motion approved. Got a, got a motion and a second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Item number three are citizens' comments. Mr. Chairman, we have no citizens' comments tonight. Thank you, Mr. Castro. Item number four is approval of the minutes for September 10th, 2013 regular meeting. Make a motion for approval. Second. second. I have one change. It shows that Vice Chair Bob Benson called the meeting to order, and I do believe I was there that night. Sharon. <laughs> That's fine. Right. That's the only thing I saw. Anybody have anything else? We have a motion for approval in the second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? <coughs> Item number five are recommendations. For, and there are none. Item six are bonds. Um, item 6.1 and 6.2 are uh, the Walmart bonds. Um, yes. Um, both these bonds are irrevocable letters of credit. Um, and in the bond uh, form itself, it states that they automatically renew um, if the project is still in continuing uh, at the time of the expiration date. I had uh, the city attorney look at it, uh, and he says, uh, it says that it can automatically continues unless they give us a, uh, a letter within 30 days of that expiration date stating that they're not going to renew it. Uh, so at this time, it's set to auto automatically renew. Uh, and if we don't get that letter from them, then it will have to automatically renew. If we get the letter, then we'll proceed with the calling of, of the bond. Uh, so as um, what I need from you all is to uh, um, a vote to... Uh, Call the bond if it's not in place uh, if, by the expiration date. Mr. Chairman, I make a motion that we give him the permission to call the bond if it did, the letter of credit did come in. Okay, I got a motion for the. Can I have a second? Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? <coughs> item number seven is old business, and there being none, we'll move on to item eight, new business. Item 8.1 is the rezoning application for property located on Horn Tavern Road, map 22, parcel 133.00, 8.37 acres from RS40 to RS20, Walt Toddy owner. Mr. Chairman, I'd like to uh, make motion, make mention that I have personally interest in the property and I will be recruiting myself from discussion and or vote. Thank you, Mayor. Hi, Walt. How you doing? I'm fine. We have the maps and everything here. Do we have a, a motion? Make a motion for approval. Second. We got a motion and a second. Any discussion? Okay, seeing none, all those in favor? Uh, Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Thank you. Item 8.2 is the rezoning application for property located on Old Nashville Highway, map 42, parcel 65.12. 1.03 acres from RM12 to RS10, Timothy Mangrum owner. Moved to approve. Second. I got a motion and a second. Any discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Thank you. Thank motion you. carries. Item 8.3 is the preliminary site plan for Taco Bell to build a 2,084 square foot building 
located at 2377 Fairview Boulevard, map 47, parcel 7, 0.88 acres, CVHC5 LLC owner. Do we have any engineering comments for number 8.3? Uh, Mr. Chairman, there are no engineering comments. Move for approval. And a motion for approval? Second. And a second? Any discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Approved. Moving on to 8.4, the final site plan for Taco Bell to build a 2,084 square foot building located at 2377 Fairview Boulevard, map 47, parcel 7.00.88 acres, CVH, C5, LLC owner. <coughs> Got a motion for approval. And a second, let's open it up to discussion. Engineering comments? Yes, sir. You got engineering comments? Uh, there are four comments uh, on 8.4. A copy of TDOT access drive permit shall be submitted to the city prior to issuing a building permit. Number two, details of the proposed retaining wall shall be provided prior to issuing a building permit. Drainage calculations shall be submitted and approved by staff prior to issuing a building permit. And number four are the tree board recommendations to be incorporated. And I understand there was someone from the architect's office at the tree board meeting and they know those. Uh, yes, that was uh, Jim Lukens from the civil engineering company. He okay. was there. Okay, great. Um, I just have a few questions concerning the the, uh, the final site plan. On the retaining wall, it appears it's going to run from a half a foot up to five feet, depending on the lay of the land and what you have to take out. Um, looks like the maximum height is actually four feet. Is there a color specification for that block? Do you have a color for that block yet? Uh, I don't believe we've specified a color for it this time, but so that's still open. Okay. Do we have any kind of specification for retaining wall color? That's going to be a long wall along that property line. Um, the design review just says any walls like that would have to be um, in like uh, materials and colors of, of the, the building itself. Okay. So we can, we're can we going to be looking at something similar to the building materials the building. itself. So will, will that be split face block then? or? Uh, that's the idea to make a split, a split face block, and we will use one of the one of the major colors on the building for its final color. Can we eliminate the purple on the split face block wall, or can we just go with it? <laughs> cinnamon brown? And... Uh, no, purple would probably be out of place. At the Thank wall. you, sir. I appreciate that. <laughs> um, the other issue I'm looking at is the, it appears from the topographical lines that the whole property is going to be leveled off an average of about three feet taken out of that lot. Um, my calculations look to be somewhere about 4,000 cubic yards of material to level that lot off. What are you going to do with all that dirt? At this point, I'm not sure. It's probably the contractor's option. Okay. But so right now, I can't really tell you exactly what he would do with it. Okay. Because we weren't sure. Can when you think it? about where this, you know, if you have to truck it a long way, getting it out onto Highway 100 during the traffic times, all the issues that are involved in the streets, um, that's a lot of dump trucks moving around. So I'd like to see something to... Some kind of a plan, I guess. Was that pre-construction, Don? When you do that? Yes, sir. We we uh, deal with all that during the pre-construction conference. Uh, discuss uh, what they're doing with their spoils and um, if they need any assistance uh, with uh, closing down the highway or something to get uh, materials in and off the in and off the highway. So uh, we do discuss that during the pre-con. Okay. Just if I may, sure. just to bring it up. We had an arrangement before when they were doing Mapco. This area to the left of, of City Hall, I hear they were taking all the dirt they could send over there, and that just may be an option for you to look at. I don't know, okay. but they still need a lot of filling over there. So, okay, 
That'd be something to to work out with him. It'd be a short distance to carry. Has the driving permit been obtained yet? As to what? The driving permit been obtained yet? No. It has not? No, we were waiting until we got the building permit. Okay. Um, the other issue I have, I guess, is with the final site, of the design review. So I think I'm okay with everything. If we can, if there are any other questions or comments about the plan. Um, no? We have a motion and a second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Uh, opposed? Motion carries. Item 8.5 is the design review for Taco Bell to build a 2,084 square foot building located at 2377 Fairview Boulevard, map 47, parcel 7, 0.88 acres, CBHC5, LLC owner. Move approval. Approved. I got a motion and a second. Second. Open it up for discussion. Mr. Chairman, there are no engineering comments on 8.5. All right. Are there any specific questions or anything looking at the prints? One issue I have, uh, and it's just a clarification, if you look at page A4.0, which is the blueprint of the, the building itself, one of the first revision uh, on the far left hand, uh, excuse me, right hand side, first revision calls out the color uh, being number 11, which I believe is the cinnamon brown, but the rendering is colored as number 11, which is the sunset gold. What was the page number again, Mr. Chairman? That first one, uh, A, A4.0. The, the elevation of the building? Yes. Okay. Not, not the plan, the elevation. Okay. The elevation. You'll see it on the, on the far right hand side, just a right above the, st the seal from the engineer. Right there, you'll see that revision. That's revision number one. There are just, I believe, two revisions on that print uh, at, under that designation, but it just doesn't match the rendering. I just, you know, I think it should be clarified. Okay, it's, uh, it, it's intended to be the color shown on the rendering. Okay. So it's just a draft and mistake on the... It's, uh, 21 or 11, you know, and it should be 11, or it should be 21 and it's 11. It so. should be 21, yes. Okay, so can we make that change and everything go? Yes. Um, anything else? Don, the monument sign that we have for the building that meets all of our regulations in terms of size and building materials. Yes, sir, the referring to the Yes, the, the rendering, rendering that we have in. included in the packet. Yes, sir. Let me start design. Okay. Um, just one thing to consider, and I'm gonna just put it out there. This the, the design is fine the way it is. If you'll notice the Walmart, the new Walmart sign, the new sign in front of Food Saver, they're wrapped in stone. I think it would look great wrapped in the stone that the building is in. That is my personal opinion and by no means anything that you need to do, but he, um, I just want to put it out there. What you have is perfectly acceptable. Okay, well, we will certainly take a look at that and uh, personally, I don't have any objection for it being in stone or a combination of stone and brick, maybe. As long as so, it matches the existing building materials, I believe that's, that's well within the that's, materials. The uh, design standards just says that it, that it has to be a monument type sign completely surrounded by brick or stone or combination thereof. Okay. okay. That's, that's all I have. Okay, thank you. <clears throat> Anything else? If we're ready then, let's, um, let's go ahead and bring it to a vote. All those in favor? Aye. With the with the changes that have been made, opposed. Carries. Thank you very much. Thank you. And finally, eight point six. We set the site bond for Taco Bell to build a two thousand eighty four square foot building located at twenty three seventy seven Fairview Boulevard, Map forty seven, Parcel seven, 
1.88 acres CVH C5 LLC owner. The engineers have a report for that. Yes, Mr. Chairman. The engineering report states the site bond for the reference project is intended to include stabilization of the subject site should the owner slash developer fail to complete the construction of the project. Please note that the bond amount is not intended to cover the full cost of completing the development of the site as shown on the approved plans. Site stabilization can include different actions depending on the stage of construction. In general, it may include any required grading work that would be needed in order to establish adequate drainage of the site, stormwater conveyance structures, temporary erosion control measures, and establishing permanent vegetative cover. It is recommended that the bond amount for this site be set at $6,000. Move to approve. Second. Got a motion and a second. Any discussion on that amount? Is there, are you in agreement with this, the city engineer? Yes, sir. No further questions. You okay? Okay, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. <laughs> Item 9.1 are reports and discussion and information from the Planning, Zoning, Codes Department. Mr. LeVorn? Nothing tonight? Okay. Uh, city engineer? <laughs> Thank you, sir. I think, I think mo I've told most of you, Will's on vacation. He's taking his kids to Florida. <laughs> Which I'm sure was a long ride down there with two small children. <laughs> uh, Are they there yet? <laughs> <laughs> I would like to point out one thing. Uh, I live in Bell Buckle, and Bell Buckle Crafts Fair is going to be next weekend. So if you want to mingle with 100,000 people in a little bitty town, population 300, it's a good way to spend all day. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, sir. 9.3 is the city attorney. I have nothing further at this time, Mr. Chairman. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Communication with the Planning Commission members. I'd like to start off with Mr. Behan. I have nothing. Mr. Mitchell. Nothing. Ms. Anderson. Nothing tonight. All right. Mr. Hall. I have nothing tonight, thank you. Mr. Sutton? Uh, the only thing I have to say is uh, come in Don and his group of people. Uh, I know this is a little bit difficult, difficult time since we've had the city manager resign, and I appreciate all your work. And Crystal, the job that you're doing too. Mr. Beata? Uh, nothing to add this evening. Mayor? Nothing, thank you. Vice Chairman? Nothing further, Mr. Chairman. Okay, good. You've given me some time. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> this town, we understand everyone here and on the folks on, tel on listening and watching us on television, <clears throat> understand where we are in Fairview and where we are going. We had a front page article in this, the, today's newspaper, the Fairview Observer, on Brownland Farms is back. I want to show that to the to the folks outside. We have a, we are fortunate. We have a couple of people on this commission that were actually at the time that this Brownwood Farms had started. There's a few inaccuracies in the story that I wanted to address. And I'd also like to get with Mr. Lavorn to explain exactly where we are with this project and what is going on that we have seen from the developer and what we have not seen from the developer and maybe get some timelines a little different than, than what we have here in the paper. The one inaccuracy in the paper is that Tim French is mentioned as a Planning Commission member. Mr. French uh, is, is a valuable person in our community. He does a lot of things, but he is not on the Planning Commission uh, at this time. He may later nor, in the future, but not at this time. Been. Has never been? Okay. Um, from what I understand and from what I remember, that is a master development plan that basically has the covenants that we have agreed to as a city of 255 acres with 725 homes and the listing of the types of homes and things that they are going to do. We do not have any plats issued. We have no um, 
infrastructure drawings. We have no kind of planning involved within the boundaries of that subdivision. We have the subdivision itself with some planning. Can you give us, Mr. Lavorne, some kind of a time frame of what is it, what's a normal <clears throat> time frame for a subdivision to come in to get that thing up and running where they could actually start moving dirt? Um, what, what they have right now is just zoning for the property. Uh, when you do a plan unit development, you have a master development plan that shows a, a general idea of the configuration of lots, road layouts and things of that nature. And it is uh, attached to a rezoning application that goes before this board to, uh, to get a recommendation to go to the Board of Commissioners for approval or disapproval. Uh, this particular subdivision um, has been approved for 725 uh, dwellings. Uh, some of those are, are townhomes, uh, and I can't, or off the top of my head, tell you how many of, of which seems like it was 500 and something uh, single family dwellings, and the, the remainder of that would be uh, in townhomes. Uh, before they can break ground, uh, they would have to come back to this board with a preliminary plan on whichever phase they want to start construction in. They would present uh, the preliminary plan to you all and then they would present, uh, after you approve the preliminary plan, they would submit construction drawings to staff for review and approval through uh, the city, city engineer's uh, office. Once those are approved, then they can submit for a final uh, subdivision plan uh, that would come back to this board for approval before they can actually uh, have those lots registered with the registrar's office, which becomes uh, actual sellable pieces of property at that time into lots. Uh, so right now they don't have any approvals where they could actually go out and sell a lot to build a house on. Okay. So we have a multi-step process, it sounds like, to put in place to be able to develop this property in a way for the best use of the town and also for the best, um, you know, honestly, profitability of the developer. It could take uh, three to six months for them to go through the process uh, because even after uh, they get their final um, subdivision plat approved through the planning commission, we still have to have posting of bonds. Um, they have to post bonds with the water authority. Uh, they have to have a pre-construction meeting uh, before we'll issue any grading permits for them to start construction. To have the 199 to $400,000 homes put into our city, I think is an excellent opportunity for us to grow in a good direction. And um, from what I understand from the developer, they've done good work in the past and we are we're excited for them to come. Any other comments? I just think it would be a good idea if someone's gonna write something to talk to two people who have been involved in the whole entire process to get um, proper information and not someone who might be against it or for it but doesn't have the knowledge. I just want to talk about the development. Anything else? Yes, sir. Um, with all the commercial development that we're getting, uh, I remember hearing I have to say if we need rooftops to help support the commercial, that'd be the right time for this development. Okay. No other comments. I'd like to get an motion, motion to adjourn. For Got a need Thank a second. You. All those in favor? Aye. 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 We're adjourned.